Aloha, Cyberbots. Hope everyone's having a wonderful and productive day. Well, today I'm going to do a small little stretching video. I haven't been stretching as much as I used to or as much as I should. And I've been lifting lots of heavy weights, so my muscles are really, really tight, so I need to stretch more. And I really feel it when I do train jujitsu, and it's really important when you train jujitsu that you have to be flexible. So, um, first, we're going to get started with the neck stretch, okay? So you're gonna move your neck, your all your head, all the way around, all the way back. Oh, I can put my neck copy right now. Here you go. And I normally do like three sets of, or four sets of 15 to 16 seconds. Other side, but I'm just gonna do like a couple, 10 seconds just to demonstrate for you at home. Because it's really important that we stretch. Now you're gonna drop the head down and up. Center, just like that, and breathe. Remember to breathe. Breathing comes with stretching. Last four. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna stretch my triceps because I did arms the other day and I'm still kind of sore. So after I finish stretching, I'm gonna hit the cold dip. And like I said, I haven't stretched as much as I used to. So I used to be able to do my splits, side splits, front splits, and now I'm having, having quite a, 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 a really rough time doing my splits. So, I don't like that. So I need to really, really put some more effort into my stretching. I even have a stretcher at home, because I used to do karate too, and I still train karate as well. So I need to get back after, after my my stretcher as well before I go to bed. Okay, now to the back. So like I said, I've been training a lot, lifting a lot of weights, uh, training karate, jujitsu, kickboxing, capoeira, and whatnot. And it really, it's really hard <laughs> on your side. But I'm not complaining because I love it, you know? It's my life. Health and fitness and martial arts is my life. Shake it out, it's okay. Now you're gonna grab your, your hands and bring them to the back and stretch for 10 seconds. And like I said, you can do this for between three to four sets, 15 to 16 seconds, or even a minute, as long as you, you want to hold the stretch. And breathe. Good. And release. Now take a deep breath in. One more time. Exhale. Keep up. Now you're going to stretch your legs. You're going to bring your legs together and you're going to bring your hands over your toes slowly. And my back's been really sore lately. It's been really tight. So uh, recently I just started doing yoga again and also hitting up the chiropractor. So that's been helping me a little bit. Directions. I'm going to be here. I'm going to come forward. And you can flex your foot. Hold that for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And point your toes. You know how I love to point my toes. Breathe. bring your legs apart. That's where I need more help because my inner thighs are so tight. I've been doing lots of inner thigh workouts and I've been hitting like 90 pounds. So that's not good. Well it's good and bad because I'm not stretching enough. And come to the side. Hold. And this feels really good. And stretching like I said is very important. Um, it elongates your muscles prevents injuries. Of course I stretch before I do my workout, but not as much as I should. Other side, hold, 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
Now you're gonna bring it to center. This is the hard part. Walk your hands forward. With this one, you really have to breathe and concentrate. I'm gonna hold for 10 seconds. I hold for five seconds, just right here. And then another five, I'm gonna walk my hands forward just a little bit more. Once I'm already, my inner thighs are nice and warm. So you don't wanna pull a muscle. Hold five seconds. Four, three, two, and release. Walk your fingertips in slowly, slowly, slowly. And we're gonna do that stretch again. Ready? Here we go. Forward. Place your hands down on the mat. Hold five seconds. And walk a little bit more. And we're gonna roll. And when you stretch, it's really like a workout it itself. So you can always put on some spa music and just relax and concentrate on your breathing and your stretching and just relax. You know, have time for you. Now we're gonna go into butterfly. Bring your knees together and bring it down. Right in here. Press it down. Breathe. Go to that nice, happy place. Where it's just you on a nice island, enjoying yourself with the virgin cocktail, of course. Okay. Release, shake it out, and again, 10 seconds. Last five, four, Shake it out. Okay. Now you're going to bring one leg across and you're going to bring your hand onto your knee or your elbow. I always do this. And the other hand, you're going to place it in the back of you and you're going to simply turn like you're looking at, I don't know, you're looking at, let's see. I went long there. <laughs> you're looking at uh, fitness balls. Other side. I've been concentrating on my breathing too much. I think I've held my breath too long. Other side. Woo! Three. This is a really great stretch for the side of your stomach, your arms, your neck. Four, five, four, three, two, and release. Okay? Shake it out. We're going to do that one one more time. Okay? It does not have an arch to it, and I can feel it. When I'm stretching right here, I can feel it. It's, it's just straight, like it's tight like a board, and I don't feel an arch at all. So my yoga instructor has been helping me, and she gave me an alternative exercise to this, which is going to be here in case you're having back problems or whatever. This is really, really good for your back, a good back stretch. You're going to be here, and you're going to come up, slowly, again, bring it up. And sit back down. Again, roll up. And exhale. Again. And this is a lot, this is really good for your lower back. Like I can feel the stretch. Again. And down. 
again. So this is what my yoga instructor recommended for me to do because she saw I was having trouble when I'm doing this third voice stretch. Thank you. And then I told her before I started class, you know, because I asked if you have any injuries or whatever. So I told her before I started class that I had trouble with my back and my neck. Again. Last two. And repeat. Remember to breathe and exhale. Come down. As you come up, look out when you come So it's like that. My yoga is my higher pack. It's getting them to help them better because it's not going to than this. So I'm a little bit happy. It was important. Just, just like I live. I'm really happy. And okay, everyone, I hope you enjoy the stretching. Um, like I said, this is really, really going to help with you uh, uh, prevent injuries and get leaner and uh, longer. So make sure you incorporate stre stretching into your workout routine. I know I'm going to start uh, at least devoting at least maybe a whole 30 minutes just for stretching and that's it. And I'm going to continue doing more yoga. So if you haven't tried yoga, make sure you go ahead and try it because it's really, really awesome. I really recommend it, especially if you do any types of martial arts or if you just want to feel better and, and just not have any you know, back problems or neck problems and, and whatnot. You want to sleep better. It's really going to help you. Okay, everyone. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.